Hey, Phi Babies. It is Saturday morning. It's actually Friday afternoon for me at about 6.40 p.m. And in a little bit, I'm at my parents' house, but I'm gonna be able to slip off for two hours and see Hello Dolly with my two sisters. Um, but I'll be back. It's just a, a, a local, a local um, what do you call it? Presentation? A local interpretation? I don't know, it's local. <laughs> anyway, um, okay, so it's Saturday. And it is a wonderful family day. So let's start at the beginning. If you are brand new, this is the first video you've ever watched, please shine your sink and I'll put the link right up here for you. So stop and watch that video and do that today. If you are with me and it's your first week, you've already shined your sink, then you're in your routines. So this morning, you're gonna do your morning routine you're gonna do your um, mail or paper routine when you get the mail, and you're gonna do some laundry today. So you're gonna do your laundry routine. You're gonna get all those things done fast and early. If you're an at-home fly baby, you'll have the rest of the day until it's time for dinner. And then prepare your meal and clean up after in your after dinner routine. And then quickly start getting ready for bed. You don't have to put your PJs on if it's too early for you, but go ahead and pick out your clothes for tomorrow and you know, make sure you think about what time you need to be asleep. Check your planner, make sure there's nothing that you need to dress special for tomorrow. And, um, and right before bed, turn on the dishwasher. Of course, brush your teeth, wash your face, um, and put on your PJs. And sn snuggle into bed and have a good night's sleep. Seven to eight hours is ideal for repairing your body and really being prepared for Monday for a big week ahead. Okay, if you are a fly, oh, no, tomorrow's Saturday, so you're not going to work Sunday, you're going to go to church. So get your church clothes laid out and think about your feast that you're gonna make tomorrow. Make sure it's thought out and ready to go. Okay, if you are a payroll fly baby, you're going to do uh, about three hours of work today uh, because all week long you've been able to do your routines and some of our weekly plan. Um, let's talk about the weekly plan real quick for everyone. Um, a weekly plan is something we do every single day. Most people do it anyway, but there's no rhyme or reason. This way we have a real plan for doing it. So on Saturday, that's your family fun day. On, Mon on Sunday, that's your um, renew your spirit day. On Monday, that's the house blessing day. That's about an hour of house blessing. We're not cleaning, we're just blessing. I'll put the link right here so you can see what that is if you don't know. On Tuesday, that's your free day if you're an at-home fly baby. Um, on Wednesday, that is your planning day. So that's the day you'll make your menu, you'll make all your plans for the week, you'll look at your planner and make sure it's up to date. Um, you can also do that on Sunday for your planner because the next week is you know starting the next day. But I like to do it on Wednesday just to make sure I haven't missed anything. Um, so all your planning is done on Wednesday. On Thursday, that's your errand day. That's when you go run all your errands, get everything you had in mind, birthday presents, birthday cards, library books, stamps, um, a pair of shorts for your son, whatever. You know, get all that done in one day and then do your grocery shopping. It's also a day you need to be planful about your meals. So what is, what is that? Isn't that pretty? It's my little beard. Okay, sorry. Um, so, <laughs> Get your, um, get your, I make myself laugh. Do you make yourself laugh? I hope you do. Um, because I'm really so silly. <laughs> um, okay, where was I? So get, be planful about your meal. So if it's a crock pot meal, you don't want a lot of mess to clean up, go ahead and buy us some liners today at the grocery store and put your crock pot meal in liners so that you can have your meal and easy cleanup. Or hamburgers and hot dogs or something that's quick and easy and easy to clean up because you when you come home from from the grocery store and from buying things you need to complete the process it's a good idea to complete the process so that means put away everything you bought in the proper place discard things that you bought that those things replace and um, also prep your vegetables and fruits and things like that. So you wanna be able to have time to really wrap your meats and get them put away. Maybe you bought a giant container, you need to split it up. Don't stick it in the fridge. Don't say, I'll do it later. That's your inner child. Say, let's do it now. This is the day I plan to do it. Let me do it. And get everything all prepped for the week. That's why you want an easy dinner because you don't wanna to have to stop and make dinner and have to jam that stuff 
away and not do it the right way. Not do it, the, it's not right, but not do it the way you intended when you purchased it, what you were going to do with it. Okay, now on f Friday, that's your person car day. That just means clean out the inside of your car. Doesn't mean you have to vacuum it. It's nice if you do, but it means get all the junk out of it. And um, once in a while, I take mine to a drive through car wash and get it washed and I vacuum it. So you can do anything you want, but I think it's a great idea to get the, the junk out of it at least. And then um, also that's the day you dump your purse out and reorganize it and put only back what you need and get rid of the trash and the things that have accumulated in there and complete your process on that. On Saturday it's your family fun day and on Sunday is Renew Your Spirit Day. I think we were there already. So here we are on family fun day in our weekly plan. However, if you are a payroll fly baby, you will need to do some of those things you couldn't do during the week that I just mentioned. For example, you may have not been able to get to the grocery store. I don't know about you, but when I was a working fly baby, I didn't have any energy at the end of the day to do everything else I needed to do and go grocery shopping. So I didn't grocery shop. I was able to make my plan and make my menu and look in the fridge and that kind of stuff. I was able to empty my purse and quick do a quick clean up in the car because frankly, I've been doing it for a long time and there's not junk in my car. So it's really nothing. I just look at it and say, yeah, maybe there's a gum wrapper, get that out. Um, occasionally, like I said, running it through a car wash. And then, let's see what else is there. Just that weekly plan is the main thing. Weekly, the weekly uh, house blessing takes an hour, so I never had the energy for that. Now, some of you might, or you might want to split it up into uh, five days or six days and do 10 minutes a day, and if that suits your fancy, that's great. You know, our original fly lady, uh, Marla Silly, that's the way she said she likes to do it. So that's a thought. And if that, if you have the energy for that, great. If you don't, that's not, that's not okay. You can do it on Saturday. So if you do it on Saturday, here's the trick. You have to get up on time. You can't lay around in your PJs and say, oh no, it's one o'clock. And then you have three hours of work to do. It's going to be four o'clock. Dinner's going to be on top of you. You haven't spent any time with a family. That's not really what I hope you want to do. So unless there's you know, unless there's a reason for you to lay around in your PJs or you're having family PJ party, you know, I still suggest you do your routines early and fast. So get up, do your routines, and then quickly do your um, weekly house blessing. Now, the great thing about having a family is that you can split that up. So if there's three of you work, able to work in your house, you can give each of the three people two things to do. That's only 20 minutes worth of work max and um, your house will be done in 20 minutes instead of an hour. So it's something to think about. But at the most, let's say you have to do it all, it's one hour. And then after that, you've already made your list during the week, so run to the grocery store and get back. And then if you're on zones, then we're gonna do our zone. So listen to me, everyone, whether you're a fly baby uh, at home or payroll fly baby, zones. On Saturday, our zone, we're still in zone for the master bedroom and master bathroom and master closet. You may have done all you want to do in your bedroom this week, and that's fine. You can take this day off, but Tuesday is your free day, uh, unless you moved it to a different day. Tuesday is your free day, so you want to do one more day in your bedroom, but it's only 15 minutes max if you're doing it all week long. If you are waiting to the weekend, payroll fly babies, then I don't want you to work more than an hour in your in your zone. So that means about 45 minutes of working in the zone. If you're decluttering, set your timer for 15 minutes, stay in place, pick a corner and start working. When your time is up, stop, take a break, get some water, rest for a few minutes, come back, set the timer for 15 minutes again, do it again. Remember, you have to have three containers, throw away, put away, give away. When you do it the third time, so you rest again when that 15 minutes is up. When you do it the third time, stop, you're done for the week, you're done with this room, whichever room you chose, or maybe you worked 15 minutes in each of the three areas of your bedroom, master bedroom, master closet, master bedroom, master closet, and master bathroom. But stop, and now we're going to do a few minutes of taking care of finishing the process. So take the garbage outside, take the recycle to the trunk of the car or the back of the truck or the back of your SUV or whatever you have. Take it and put it in there. Don't let it wall around in there, roll around in there. Make sure there's a box or a container because you're going to be accumulating it and then taking it um, 
on a different day possibly to the Goodwill. If you are a payroll fly baby, today you're taking it to the Goodwill. So after you're done with that, then you're gonna go grocery shopping. So in this case, when you're doing zones, you're gonna do your routines first, then your zones, then your errands. So you're gonna do your grocery shopping and run that stuff by the, by the uh, Goodwill or whatever. So that's another hour. So that's three hours. And that's it. So if you started, if you got up at seven and you started at 7.30 or eight, let's say you started at eight, you did your routines. Routines take about, uh, let's see, ten, we'll just say 10 minutes for each routine. So 10, 20, 30, so that'd be 8.30. Then you worked an hour um, on your weekly house blessing, 9.30. And then you worked an hour on your um, room that we're in, your zone. 10:30. then you went to the grocery store and got back you'll be home before noon and you have the whole rest of the day you're gonna have to have time to put your groceries away so if you've got if you've done it 11 30 and you get home by noon you're gonna take 30 minutes to put your groceries away so let's say 12 30 have a little lunch and enjoy your family enjoy the rest of the day enjoy the rest of your weekend because you are done the only thing you have left to do is clean up after dinner tonight and um, get ready for bed and then tomorrow Sunday all right, I hope that was helpful. I always love talking to you. Thanks for all the comments yesterday, you guys. I'm telling you, you are beautiful. <laughs> Bye.